Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make this beautiful crystal bracelet that could be a nice Christmas present idea for your friends and relatives. Okay, so if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh beading ideas and you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action and if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials please share them on my facebook page that i posted below this video i will be so happy to see your creations down there in description you will see a full list of materials links where you could buy supplies from link to my store and link for paypal donations to develop this channel thank you so much for watching now I'm going to start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I need for this video are four by three millimeters crystals, also, also called rondelles, and you could use Czech crystals or uh, you could use Swarovski or other brand. And here I use 11 on seed beads in golden color and 8 o beads in golden color. And I use here a clasp. In this case, I use magnetic clasp, but you could use any type of clasp you like. This is monofilm and that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeters. Scissors, size 10 beading needle and pliers. The pliers are not obligatory, but if you go through the difficult beads, sometimes you need them. Okay, and now I'm going to take a comfortable length of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and now I have a comfortable length of thread on my needle and when it's over I will add more thread and I have a lot of tutorial where I'm showing how to add more thread and if you want to know, ask me in the comments and I'll give you a link to where I'm adding more thread. Okay, and now I'm going to take the following thing. I'm going to take a crystal and then I'm going to take an 11O, an 8O and an 11O then one more crystal and i'm going to repeat the same thing an 11 o an 8 o and an 11 o so in my first step this is what i have on my needle and i'm going to slide this down okay i will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is make a knot and I'm making my knot by making here a loop and going twice through this loop. You could even go three times if you want and I will make one more knot here. Okay, just to be sure that everything is nice, tight and secure. And now I'm going through one of my crystal and when I pull my knot hides here inside this crystal, okay. Now guys, I have this. And now what I want to do is exit here through this 11 o and exit out of the 8 o and here I'm going to attach my clasp because this is the first element of my bracelet. And I'm taking half of my magnetic clasp, as you see. And I'm going to take two of these beautiful golden beads. I'm going through my clasp. And I'm going to take two more of these beads. Okay, so this is what I have now here on my needle. And I'm going back in circle through this ato here. Okay. And I'm pulling. And I'm going to reinforce this part here, guys. Okay. Going around in circle, reinforcing it. Okay guys, now I have this and I will go 
through my crystal and through the following 11 ohm and my goal is to exit out of this 8 ohm okay and in my next step i will do something differently okay i will take an 11 ohm and then i will take four crystals And then another 11 ohm. So this is what I have here on my needle. 11 ohm, 4 crystals, 11 ohm. And as I'm exiting from this 8 ohm, I'm going back in circle through it. Okay. And I pull. Okay. Now it's easier for me to flip my work. I'm always flipping my work the way it's easier for me to uh, to work okay now I will go here through one of my crystals and I have this and now I would like to make an additional thread path connecting those two crystals okay and I'm going through all of my crystals if you can do this in one, one movement if not go in two or more movements okay now what i do is that i go directly through this crystal i skip these 11 os here that i've been through in my last step and go directly through the crystals if you don't see my thread just follow my needle where it goes because here i use monofilament i want to be transparent but sometimes it's not visible enough okay now in my next step I want to take a NATO and then I'm going to take an 11 now a NATO and an 11 now okay this is what I have here and I'm going through the between those two crystals like that And I want another of these beautiful atos. Then again, I will go between those two crystals. And I want to exit here at this ato. And I'm going to make an additional step at three of these beautiful seed beads and go back in circle through this ato like this you see i have a loop of beads and when i pull i have this okay and another round here because i want to reach this ato and repeat the steps of adding more 11 o's okay three more 11 o's And I take three and I go back in circle through these beads, bead here and pull. Then I want to exit here at this side. And because my crystal have a larger holes, there is no problem to go as many times as I like through them three or four times okay now I'm here I want to exit out of this 11 0 and through the 8 0 okay now I'm in a position to start the next element of my bracelet and it will be these two crystals okay and because here I have one of my 8 0s added I will take the following thing one 11 0 one crystal, an 11 0 an 8 0 and an 11 0 One crystal, and then an 11 0 Okay, pause this video and take this. Okay, and now when I go through this 8 0 I have absolutely the same thing that I started with here in the beginning using this 8 0 Okay, 
Now it's easier for me to flip my work. I will go here through this crystal. And my goal is to exit out of this atoll. And if you want, you could go reinforce this element one more time. Just to be sure that it's secure. But I won't show you this, okay? And now in my next step, I will make this flower element. And I'm doing it by taking one 11 four crystals. And one 11 okay? This is what I have in my first step. And my thread is exiting out of this 11 uh, 8 oh, sorry, in the center, and I'm pulling. Okay. And when I pull and move it to the other element, this is what I have. And now, guys, as I'm exiting from this 8 oh, I will do the same thing when I showed you how I'm making my other flower element okay i will make an additional thread pad here by going through these four crystals skipping these 11 o's and this 8 o here like this okay now I have this, and from here on I'm taking one eleven now, going here, then an eleven now, a NATO and an eleven now. Go between those two crystals. Like this. Then take one eto go one more time here directly through the crystals and if you can also through the ato in one moment okay and i need three eleven o's go back in circle through this ato pull reach this part and add three more And I need here three eleven o's. I'm going back in circle. And now I'm in a position here to start my next element and if you forgot how i did it just rewind this video and remember this step or st uh, start in the beginning and i'm always repeating this step and this step this step and this step and when i have the desired length i'll be back to tell you how to finish your bracelet okay guys and when i continue beading this is what i have i have a bracelet that's long enough for my wrist and here I'm going to show you how to finish it okay I'm here at the end of my work and what I want to do is the same thing that I took from the other side of my bracelet I'm taking two seed beads I'm taking here my magnetic clasp and then two more of these beautiful seed beads okay I have this and I will go back in circle through this atoll and I'm pulling here and I'm going to reinforce my work
And here, guys, I'm going to make a knot the same way I showed you before. Making here a loop. And I'm going once, then I go second time through this loop I've made and I pull. Then I go through the following seed bead. And here I'm going to cut my thread. And now guys, my bracelet is ready. Okay guys, and now my crystal beaded bracelet is ready. So if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh beading ideas. And you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action. And if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in description, you will find a full list of materials Amazon links where you could buy supplies from, link to my store and link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching and bye bye from me.